So guys, let's build this awesome survival house or mushroom house even. I think it is pretty awesome. It's going to fit in a 23 by 23. I know you guys are probably excited to build this. Um, but at the end of the video, I will show you um, another video that you can click on. And it's basically a small mushroom house. So imagine getting loads of small mushroom houses around it. I've actually got another big mushroom house. So I will put the big mushroom house and the small mushroom house at the end of the video. I'll put them in the description as well if you want to use those. And you can use this as well. So yeah, without further ado, let's do it. So the materials we're going to be using for this is um, maybe for the flooring, we'll do a bit of oak. We're going to, of course, use a bit of cobblestone. We're going to use a bit of quartz stairs. We're going to use red concrete, cobblestone wall, grass blocks, wooden trap doors. We're going to have some spruce wood fence. We're going to have some dark oak stairs, spruce logs or um, planks even, and some slab and some white glass and maybe a dark oak door. So I'm going to start off with the white here. And uh, yeah, 23 by 23. So these are placement blocks. So don't place these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then put two at the side like this. So we have got the start. And then here, diagonal, diagonal. So you should have four diagonal there. And then we're going to have three gaps. We're going to fill that in with black wool or a black block of your choice. Place another one, two, three, four diagonal, and exactly the same three black blocks, and then one, two, three, four, three black blocks, one, two, three, four. So you should have four diagonals like that, and on the inside here, you can actually fill in the black. Now, I'll put these blacks on the outside because we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, and then just fill the space in there. So we can do that all the way around. Uh, there's a lot of repetitive stuff, so I might speed it up in some areas, but not too much, hopefully, um, that you won't be able to uh, build. So we're going to go one, two, three, and go all the way across. And we're going to do this for each one. So one, two, three, all the way across. You can always put it in slow motion mode, or you can pause the video. I'm trying to get this out, hopefully, for Monday, so people can do it on uh, the breaks or whatever. So we're going to bring these up as well, just like this. So one two three one two three in each of the diagonal corners like this one two three one two three and then this is where we're going to have our door on the inside so we're going to have our door going round like this like that and we're just going to have a two gap for our door so we've got two gap there so basically you just make a, a little gap for your door and then just run the black wool or black block of your choice you could even use a different block i've just done this so it kind of looks like a bit of a dark recess but um i really enjoy doing these quirky little houses and um, it's definitely a quirky house definitely something different i did do the mushroom house um a while ago people seem to really like it so i thought why not i'm gonna do another so uh, now we're gonna get our quartz stairs and obviously you don't have to do this in the quartz and um, you could do it in something else you could do it in the white concrete or something like that i think it will just look as good so yeah no problem there so we've got that going all the way around. Okay, so now in each corner, we're going to count one, two, 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 and one, two, one, two, one, two. So hopefully you've got that going all the way around and then we can start to bring this up. Now we're going to bring this up an extra level like this. So we're going to go around these. So one, two, three, four, five, one, 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 two, three, four, five. One, one. I'm going to try and do it in layers like this so people in survival will be able to do it as well. So now what we're going to do here, as you can see, I've got this grass block. And so it's there. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five, grass or dirt, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. And we're going to do this going all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to grab cobblestone wall place it on each one of these corners so i'm going to repeat it all the way around so make sure you watch and then we're going to grab our wooden trap doors and go like this what you can do you can put trap door at the side there as well so one two three just like that and uh, yeah but as you can see here i've actually um put a bit of dirt there instead but you don't have to this is just a uh, show the show you that you don't have to so exactly what we've done here i'm going to do it for these putting the dirt blocks on these each side so i'll speed it up 
Okay, so you should have those going all the way around. And now what we're going to do is we're going to count up three and do a little doorway. And then on top of it, we're going to go an extra two like that and then bring these sides up so it goes up to five just like that so we're going to do that for this one this one and this one going all the way around so as i can as i said it's very repetitive and simple but obviously you can just pause the video and just uh, yeah do that so just making sure the five high and you've got a little door that you can walk through also what you can do is we can grab some of this and this which is the spruce so we get some spruce fence two spruce fence there and then three slabs going across so i'm going to repeat this process for the other two going around okay so now what we're going to do i'm going to do one side and then you can repeat it all the way around so we're going to count one two three and um, obviously we'll delete those one two three delete these two like that now on top of here we're going to count one two three one two three and bring these up to the same height so one two three just like that and then we are going to grab some half slab we're going to go underneath like that and underneath here and underneath here now we can grab our white stained glass so I'm gonna grab my white stained glass and we're gonna count one two three and then one two and we're gonna have two windows height so we can put these in here like that like this so once we have done that we're going to grab a half slab and put it across the top now there they are on there and here and now we can grab our fences. Now this fence is gonna go up two, three, four, and it should touch there. So it looks like it's kind of like holding it up as support, but I think it does look really awesome. Now what we're gonna do here is the rest of it on top. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. And then we can bring these side pieces going all the way up. So obviously you're gonna do that for each one. So. I'll do it this side so you've kind of got like a little corner. We're obviously going to bring those up and those up as well. So just remember when you're actually redoing it. So once we've done that, what we're going to do for this little bit now is, um, as you can see here, we've just got it a little bit higher. So we're going to put this going over the top like this, an extra layer. And then we are going to grab our dark oak now. This is for the roof. And we're going to have three stairs facing out like that. And then two stairs. No, in fact, we could have three stairs there. Um, did I do three or did I do two? Yeah, I did three. Okay. And then we're going to have one, two, three stairs. And now we're going to put the stairs the other way like that. So three of them. One, two, three. And it should end like that. And then what we're going to do is just curl it round like this. Curl it round. And then the next level would be curling it round like this. And then we just put a little cap on the end. But as you can see, it's just hidden under there. So you can kind of you can put a full block if you want. But I just got a slab, put it across the top there. And then I brought this up to the same height. So obviously bring these up here like that. And we're going to repeat this process all the way round. And as you can see, I did get some bone meal. So if you want to get some bone meal and just fill it all in here like this and you can put your door on so if you want to choose your door you can put your door in the front choose to put it there and you can put your little door here as well you can put it from the inside outside doesn't really matter and then what we're going to do is grab our extra slab just fill the bottom of it in and obviously just re repeat the process going all the way around now what i did for this bit on the inside so um i got some quartz here and then we'll count with one two three one two three one two three so it closes up like that but obviously if you want a hole up through the roof where you could maybe perhaps put some glowstone or something like that so you could grab a piece of glowstone just so it's kind of nice and lit up and bring it down like that you can maybe put that on there and what i did actually do is um i think on the inside i just got a bit of white there put a little door on it and then of course you can fill it with whatever you like but what i did is i got some chests and i got a bed so b e d and we're going to do this for each one so just remember exactly what i've done here you can stop rewind the video and kind of stuff so a bed at the side there and then two little chests so obviously you've got four little placements you'll have another one there another one there and another one there and going all the way around so yeah i will um quickly come back once i've done that bit going all the way around
Okay, as you can see, you should have something like that going all the way around and it's looking nice. And to finish it off, we're just going to count one, two, three in each corner. So as you can see, we've got this little bit here. It just kind of covers it up, makes it look a little bit more neater. And uh, yeah, it looks a bit more presentable. Um, so what we're going to do at the top here, we're going to count another extra two layers and then we can work on this mushroom bit. Now, obviously, um, if you don't want to be removing blocks for doing the mushroom, then you're going to do it a little bit different to me, but I'm going to do it in one color and then I'm going to put in the spots after. So you will be removing some blocks, but if you don't want to do that, so every other one kind of just dot the spots and stuff like that. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do this in the center. One, two, three, four, five, going all the way around like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to grab our red concrete. We're going to put three, four, five like that. So obviously put the center here, one, two, either side of it. And this is, this will be the start of our circle. So one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. And then we're going to go diagonal three, one, two, three. So diagonal three for each one. But if you're in survival and you want to stick in this area, then it'll be three. And then we go into diagonal two. So diagonal two this time. And then diagonal one. And it should meet together. So the next one would be like three, two, diagonal one. Same from here. Three, two. And it should slot in like that. Um, but obviously, if you're filling in the white every now and again, just fill in the whites like that. Do you know what I mean? As you go. Um, that means you wouldn't have to remove any blocks. But I like doing it this way because you can space out your white blocks a little bit better. Um, you do have to remove some blocks. But yeah, it's a price you have to pay for something to look a little bit better. But it's entirely up to you if you don't want to waste time removing them. You've been pre-warned. So yeah. The three... And then we can finish it off with our two. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to basically go around this, what we've already done, and just place them going all the way around. So I'll just speed it up and we're just making it one higher. Okay, you should have that. Now the next layer is going to be one, two, three, four, five. And we're basically got copying around it, but just on the inside. So it'd be diagonal one, two, three, and then diagonal two. Diagonal one, two. Diagonal one, two, three. Diagonal one, two, three, four, five. You should get the pattern. It's just basically following the inside pattern, but making sure everything's connected by a diagonal. So uh, I will show you up in the air, so don't you worry. So three, it'd be five, three, two, five, three, two, joining them all across like this. So one, two, three, four, five. So if I was to go a little bit faster, I just you kind of get into the routine of it and you can speed yourself up and stuff like that. But up in the air, as you can see, you can that's a five, that's a three, that's a two. Five, three, two, five, three, two, and it should all lock in together. Now uh, what I did here is now I um I counted um what is it? One, two, three, four, five. So filling in these five bits, one, two, three, four, five on each corner. One, two, three, four, five. Just fill in that gap in. One, two, three, four, five. And then what we're going to do is count one, two, one, two, and then one, one, two, one, two, three. So one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. Same here. One, two, one, two, one, and then two at the side, and then one, two, three just like that and it should be left with a shape now this one in the middle we're going to one two three four five so uh, this is where we'll know to fill it in so find the very center and then we're going to go five like this should, uh, should have five and then we go into two and then one so same here find the center bring it out put two either side of the center one and then three uh, two even and then one going up like that so it'd be five, two, one, five, two, one, and two, five, two, one, five, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, five, two, one, five, two, one, and uh, yeah, 
Hopefully I've got it. Two one. And then this would be that'd be five, two, one, two, and two, one. Oh no, and it's two twos, isn't it? That's why I'm going wrong there. Five two two one. Five two two. And then one, two, three, four, five. You're just best going from the middle and then going two and then diagonal one, diagonal one. And then two like that and then as you can see you should have like a one extra space in the middle where you can see through it and what you do is fill that little gap in on each side even and um, so it's all filled in and you don't see that light coming through so this one now obviously we're going to put in one two three this time so um, we can bring this back one two three one two three or in fact we'll, we'll just do it three so counting that as one so one, two, like that. And then we can bring this across, just like you're kind of making a square. So just bring them until they come level. Two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And of course, fill that in, these two extra ones here. But fill them in with white if you're gonna do the other stuff. Now we're gonna go one, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, one, two, one, two, three. And same here. One, one, two, one, two, three. Just like that. And then we have got the normal circle pattern. So we're just going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. Uh, remember, you can do slow motion mode on YouTube. You can pause the video. Um, yeah. It's a lot of repetitive stuff, so there's no need for me to do it too much. And then, as you can see, I've just filled it all in. So, um, yeah, just fill in all this in. I'll just speed this up, just filling in the top area. Okay, so we've got our nice mushroom. Now, underneath here, this is where we are going to bring these all up until they touch the top. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can go from the inside and you can bring them all the way up like this. But in this top area, you can put some glowstone there if you would like. And um, so it's nice and lit from the top. So if you're in survival, get your glowstone at this very top one. And uh, yeah, it just lights it up a little bit better. It makes it a little bit easier to see. Obviously, it's getting a little bit dark here. Um, and then we have got the spots to do. And then I'm going to show you around what I did in the other house. And then you can choose to do it if you'd like blah 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 you know the story and um, so underneath what i decided to do as you can see what i did here is i got the white going to there white going to there so an extra three pillared support so it's kind of like the little grains in the mushroom um but yeah it's definitely a unique quirky house this i kind of like it something a little bit different and um, but definitely show that support by slapping a like on the video it really does help me out and more than you realize um so yeah one two three in each of the corners one two three one two three one two three and then we're just going to go diagonal one for the middle one on each one of them now you can choose to do more strands you can put some like birch um fences in there just to make it look a bit more kind of like a mushroom by filling it all in but I think this is enough um, and it does look quite good. Look at that. Nice and simple. As you can see up here, once you've got those little white bits in it, it'll look all right. So for doing these now, it's just completely random. But make sure, the one thing I will say is don't put too many close together because it doesn't look right. Um, the mushrooms are spaced out. So you could do like maybe stick to putting three down and then maybe you'd want one here. And then you can have it like ramping up like that and you're just basically working into taking out the blocks that you've already placed uh, you don't want to be placing extra blocks like on top and stuff i suppose you can but um i kind of like to stick to uh, this sort of thing making sure you haven't got too many squares like that something like this you want like those sort of patterns something like that and just space it out you can have the odd one that's just like there or you could just do them at one but i kind of think it works a little bit better by doing them in threes and fours so like three there and maybe put an extra one there maybe some across this front bit here it's all entirely your interpretation of how you want to build it 
Um, obviously doing this block for block, there's no need because it's just so, so random. Um, yeah, so like here and here, and then maybe one there. And as you can see, slowly but surely, we're getting some kind of random pattern, like we're missing some here. So we uh, just kind of block those in. We've got some here as well to fill that in. Maybe some here as well. You'll know if you get them too close. Like that's not too close. We can get away with that. We can get that here. And then we need some here. So we'll do a three one here like that. Maybe some just on this edge like this. Just hanging over the edge there. Maybe the odd one. But as you can see, you kind of, um, you've got to look around your mushroom. I think that looks perfect. We've got the perfect combination. And if you feel like you can put the odd one, you can put the odd spot in there, here and there. But you have got your mushroom house. And uh, yeah, I think this one was a little bit bigger. But as you can see, you can make them bigger, longer, and uh, yeah, they look pretty epic. Now I'll show you what I did on the inside. Now it's entirely up to you. I'll just change my time real quickly. Um, on the inside, entirely up to you what you want to do. Now, I decided to put a little portal here. <laughs> right, let's see if I can get through. Um, a portal here, so uh, yeah, uh, with chests at the side. And then I decided to put just a pole supporting it with the roof. So roof height, one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth one, I just put roof height on there. And then I got some oak fence, bit of bushes going up, something like that. So you could choose to do it like that. Now, uh, yeah, I've just got a stair set. The stair set is just like two stairs and then one, two slabs and then another two stairs. And it seems to work and it just uh, lets you underneath the door. And by putting this slab, as you can see, just a block there and some slab going round, you can actually get onto it. And then I just did the same for this stair set and it went up. So you can choose to do whatever you like. I choose to put glowstone there. And then this, obviously you've got the bedrooms. I'll put these little furnaces, some blocks across. But yeah, you can take a little bit of inspiration from that. A little bit of those stone pressure plates and um, fences. And then down here, I did this for like a brewing area, something like that. And you can come out onto your little balcony or your garden, a uh, crafting table there. And obviously you can dig underneath the ground. I've got some underground bases that you can maybe do, um, take a look at. I will put them down in the description. You can maybe put them underneath here. So what you could do is dig all the way down and then make an underground base so uh, yeah it's entirely up to you obviously in here it'd be just like this so fill those in and then you'd have a floor level here where that door is a floor level here where that door is and then you can have like it really tall or you can have another level and have like i don't know three four five six gaps or something like that but the stairway yeah it's just easy enough i'll just quickly show you how i did the stair case and then uh, we don't get too many complaints at least people get a bit of inspiration and um, so we're gonna have a stair there a stair there and then we're gonna have two slabs going across there start another stair another stair and then we're up on here so you can just put another one there and this will be going across here like this so obviously fill that in and then you'd have your stair set to go down so you just get your half slab place that going across here and yeah you want it so you can get in the door so get in the door. Obviously, this would all be filled in because it'd be floor like this. And then at the bottom, I just placed one like that and just ran that round to it. And then you can kind of like go up and around. And if you want to, um, yeah, put another stair underneath there and put some stairs underneath these bits just to make it kind of work, then uh, you can do that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You've now got an awesome mushroom house. So uh, hopefully you appreciated this video enough to slap a like on the video and uh, share it with your friends. Maybe if you build it in servers, put a little name tag on that Almost Addicted helps you design it, something like that. But I'm Almost Addicted signing out. I hope you guys enjoy your bank holiday and I shall catch you in the next video. Peace.